our 2024 minivan oh, this video will be about putting a trailer on the van uh, this is the brand I got the Kurt um, so it can be a little tough because uh, the van sits so low so I got these Rhino ramps uh, they look like they might be about six to eight inch off the ground just backed it up on there uh, what we're gonna do is take this plastic guy off I think they said there's three clips one two three okay and then a couple of screws or bolts okay and they're down here one two three Oh, four. I think it's four. Anyway, that's, so that's on the left or the driver's side rear. And then once you get under that, so I'm moving over to the, uh, the passenger rear. You got these one, two, three um, tabs. You got to pop out. That's where the, the hitch will mount to. So nothing to do on the right hand side. Um, so I'll get those popped out. I got my little tool. Where is it? There's my little tool. Let's see if I can get them. Uh, I don't know. I think I get under the thing. There you go. There you go. All right, so I got one side down. Let me get this cover off. Back on the other side. Let's see. Get that guy out. Alright, now we got those three clips off. It's actually three screws long. Right there's the back, your 10 millimeter. Then you got this guy. Yeah, this one. This guy here. That looks like it's loose. So under here, we got the three clips where the hitch will go in. So I'll pop those off and then we'll move on to the hitch. All right, so I got me two jacks to help hold this thing up because it's pretty heavy. And the idea is to just swing it up, swing it up. And uh, let's see. swing it up in there. And then attach the bolts. So we'll do that. Hopefully, it doesn't fall on me. But I'm gonna do the bolts. We'll put some anti seize on there. I'll put one screw up one side and then go to the other side and then put the rest on. I was able to push it up one hand and stick that temporarily temporary bolt in there I'm gonna move to the other side cut my bolt <laughs> you can see there's none on this side so I should be able to just push that up and get one in there to help hold it up okay the hitch is up there um, and now we got to cut that plastic piece instruction here and exactly how much you need to trim off so three inch and seven and a quarter and i'm looking at this you can see it kind of has a an area where you already need to cut out so let me just measure that to see if it matches up okay so that is from that line to there seven and a quarter 
and that's almost three inch so all right so this should be easy Okay, see that hole lining up there. So everything lined up and just push some of the things back in. The plastic clips. I gotta pull this down. I got these up here. So that's where that tin goes. And then the other one, like that, it goes all the way towards the back where that hitches. The screws just go here. And the other one goes there. All right, I'll tighten those up. Which is done, cover is back. You can see, I mean, you see how big that cutout is? Probably way too big. Oh, instead of three inch, I would have went two. So I didn't like the size of the hole or the gap that um, the, the cutout left. Um, I remeasured and this is pretty much what you need. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna re-weld this plastic weld and that's what I got here you know it's pretty much a soldering gun that heats up these rubber plastic strips and then I also got this little gun here you put these and what you do is let me see I don't know if I could do this one hand right as soon as you hit the trigger on on the gun this wire will get hot and fuse the plastic together so you can see here i got the two staples in this is fused together so that's so now i don't have to worry about holding that it's pretty much on there and now i'm going to use the other welder, plastic welder, to fill in these little caps. All right, got the welding done. This is what it looks like. Again, it's gonna be under there, so I'm gonna be able to see it. But it should get uh, some more, or keep some more dirt from getting under the van, so that's that was the idea. So here it is. Cover back on. You see, it barely has any gap except a hitch. And so, a lot less chance for stuff getting in there. Anyway, that is the hitch on the Sienna.